Hey man, welcome to day six. Today we're talking about believing that you're a new creation, that you have the, uh, the new nature inside of you and only the new nature. Uh, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, For if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. Uh, Galatians 2.20 says, For I have been crucified with Christ, and I no longer live, but Christ lives inside of me. Uh, Romans 6 talks about uh, considering yourself dead to sin. That reckon it, it's, it's done, it's, it's done, you're dead to sin. Romans 8 talks about uh, the spirit of life has put to death the spirit of the body. All, right, all these references, all, everything pointing towards the fact that we have a new nature, that we have a new creation. The old man is put aside, the new man has come inside of us. Christ is in us. If we've accepted Christ, we have the spirit of God in us, and we are a new nature. Why this is so important is because as we're on this journey of, of healing, as we're pursuing Christ, becoming the men we've been called to be, there's going to be times when we might fall back. We might uh, stumble. You know, it's 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 a fight, right? When we're in addictions or if we we have heart wounds, and uh, sometimes it takes a process and a journey. the The key is to believe that even when you stumble, that you're still like your nature tends to righteousness. It doesn't tend to sin. You are not someone who um, naturally sins anymore. You are someone who naturally tends to righteousness because of Christ living inside of you. It isn't anything that you've done because Christ is inside of you now. You have a new nature, okay? Um, you know, when I grew up, uh, I had this thing in the back of my mind that it was always like, you know, uh, well, it's it's going to happen. You just get over it. It's going to happen. You don't have kind of a choice. And a lot of it came from Romans 7 where it says, you know, Paul says, you know, I do what I don't want to do. Uh, and, and that's really placed the lie in my mind because uh, I thought it meant now. I can't do anything about it now, but that's not true. He, you know, he actually is talking about when he's under the law. You know, Romans 6 and 8 talks much more about how, you know, in the new life under Christ, we are free. We have we have the choice. Sure, we can still sin, but that's our choice. We don't tend to. It's not being someone who doesn't uh, want to do what they do. That's a, that's a slave. That's someone who is under, who is captive. We are free sons of God. You know, he, uh, Paul tells the Galatians, you know, it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. So stand firm then and don't be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Don't don't get tied up again in these things and addictions and all these things. Press through that stuff. Push on past that. Pro, you know, process that stuff and get healed from it. So, um, yeah, that's my challenge to you today is, is uh, believe in, uh, that we are a new creation, that we have Christ inside of us and we tend to righteousness. And we need to believe that. Um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow.